You ask in the book, what do you want to be known for? Why is this question so important and how do we begin to answer it? When you're really thinking about thought leadership, this is about making a difference. And it is the sense of having a reputation and having a, uh, a, an understanding in your community that you are that go-to person in whatever field, in whatever arena, whatever niche you're playing in. So what do you want to be known for is really about what is that niche and what do you want people to be able to identify you with? What cause, what, what change, what uh, possibility are you to be affiliated with? For me, you can't play in 53 different sandboxes, and I've had a little trouble with this. You know, I'm not that good at focus. But if you can find that focus, if you can find that one place, what the magic that turns around and happens is people suddenly know, okay, she's the one or he's the one that has the expertise or is making change here. What if I sent them resources, people, ideas? Now your possibility gets way bigger. So when I was doing the Forum for Women Entrepreneurs and I became this thought leader in women's entrepreneurship, for years afterwards, every time somebody would meet a cool woman entrepreneur, they, oh, you have to meet Denise. I, because I had that niche, I was that girl. And I see that same thing happen for my clients. As they start to put their stake in the ground and they start to own a space, everybody starts to send them those people who belong in their tribe, those people they need to know. That's the gift of what do you want to be known for, is to find your tribe, establish that tribe as establish yourself as one in that tribe and then others will send your tribe to you it's it's really it's that that next step is really fun you don't even realize it's going to happen